Well, you know, I'd, I guess I'd like to say it saddens me, but it doesn't. It actually, I, I find the comments outrageous, uh, inflammatory, unacceptable. Um, you know, but this is, um, this is unfortunately not far off for this member of parliament or for this po that political party. Um, uh, it's a political party that many of its Quebec members are closely connected to uh, uh, an extreme separatist party called Quebec Solidaire, uh, in which these kinds of views are not uncommon. Uh, Mr. Mulcair, the leader of that party, recently went uh, to our major trading partner and in private argued against the creation of Canadian jobs in this and other parts of the country. And so I think Canadians, uh, you know, I think it would be nice to get an apology, but I think Canadians should pay, no, should pay attention to this, should take note of this. Um, this represents some very extreme positions that exist in this, in the New Democratic Party, uh, federally, and, uh, and Canadians should know um, uh, what it is uh, they may be asked to vote for in the next election. Uh, I will just say on, uh, you know, from our perspective, um, you know, this is the, uh, this uh, past uh, period uh, is the 96th anniversary, early April, the 96th anniversary of uh, the great Battle of Vimy Ridge, a great Canadian historic victory, uh, not just on the battlefield, but a great achievement for our country. Uh, it's something uh, that I think uh, all Canadians of goodwill honour, and we're all tremendously proud, not just of the legacy left by our first war vets, but all of the veterans who have served in the Canadian forces ever since. And I think that's what we want to say, is how much we really do appreciate all they've done for Canada.